Selamat pagi teman-teman Apa kabar? Semoga masih dalam keadaan sehat Tanpa kekurangan apapun ya Ini hari kedua Perjalanan kita di Margaret River Dan pagi ini Saya berencana untuk Mengunjungi salah satu Gua yang ada di sini Ada beberapa, semuanya Kayaknya Bagus untuk dikunjungi Tapi kayaknya nggak mungkin untuk dikunjungi semua Jadi kita pilih salah satu Dan Sepertinya kita akan ke Lake Cave um, Sekitar 17 menit drive dari sini Atau Mammoth Cave Sekitar 14 menit drive dari sini Sebenarnya penasaran dengan uh, Jewel Cave uh, Tapi itu agak jauh 30 menit dari sini Jadi kita lihat aja nanti Uh, yang mana yang akan kita kunjungi Saran Ikutin terus perjalanan hari ini Tiketnya berapa per orang? Kita harus menyusul rombongan. Harus turun tangga. Ah. Wow, wow, wow. Tangganya. Jadi cave-nya itu di bawah, saya. Ini kecil, kecil banget. Ini meja nanti baliknya nih. Nanjak syai. Wow. 
tree roots would have exploited that and softened it all up, and it has slowly collapsed tens of thousands of years ago. We're not sure when. It's hard to date when things fell down. No, we think it would have happened quite slowly, not just one big collapse. These are not forming anymore, or they are? Oh, they are a little bit. Yeah, there's a, a bit little of bit dripping of, on the end. A little bit of moisture coming down. Yeah, you can see these ones still have drips on the end. Okay. Can you see that really just pointiest one? Yeah. A little drip on the end. It's just a bit harder when wind blows around the things oh, for yeah. them to, to fall. They yeah. need to sit there for hours. Beautiful. The others have caught up. Let's go. Come on down. We're only halfway there. That was the rest point. And I don't mean the casino in Hobart. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Welcome to the party. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. You? Good. good. <laughs> Well documented between you two. Yeah. All right, so my group, we just need to wait for the group before us to come up out of this, this hole. So while we're waiting, please look up and appreciate how big this cliff face is. Uh, I believe from the platform to the top is 50 metres. So that's an Olympic swimming pool all the way to the top. Uh, and that's why when someone was asking how tall the tree is, that's kind of what I was working on. Yeah, that yeah. tree is relatively big and it stood another 20 metres above our platform. So yeah. I'm going to go with yeah. um, oh, I smell of limestone, isn't it? Um, we call this beautiful big rock just here the Titanic. So it's sinking down the hole. So it has started somewhere up there and fallen off the cliff and it has slowly slid down here. And we appreciate it because it is propping our cave open. So um, we're about to hop down there. We are going to go 12 more metres. So we are 50. And when we get in there, we are 62 metres underground. Wow. <laughs> this is the deepest show cave in WA. And if anyone wants to work it out, stories are around about three metres a story, so we're about 21 stories underground. So I bet when you signed up, you weren't thinking about going down 21 stories of stairs <laughs> Let alone walking up. and coming back up 21 stories of stairs. So well done. Um, just some health and safety. Two more staircases, and it's only on the second staircase is the only point of this tour that you need to duck your head. So just be aware, the first staircase is easy peasy, the second one there are two low hanging rocks, don't forget the second one, um, we call them headache rock and splitting headache rock, and because you're going down the stairs on a bit of an angle, I really recommend leaning to one side to, let, to go under them rather than leaning forward, because it's a bit of a steep staircase, and that's all. Um, and the golden rule in caves is please don't touch anything. Um, we damage the crystal with the oils in our skin as well as how fragile they are. Um, but also just the rock gets dirty with so many people in the caves. So mm -hmm. Try not to touch anything except the handrails. And no falling in the lake. No one's going to drown at this point. Um, <laughs> but you'd get a lot of mud all over yourself. Beautiful. Hi, Bridie. How are you? Kita coba turun ke bawah. Wow. Now you need to make a wish if you get a drip on because those drips have taken approximately 11 months to find you. Oh really? And that fell from the sky, so the science tells us, about 11 months ago and it has taken that long to get down through. Can anyone remember how deep we are? 62. 62. So that means there's about... 59 metres of rock above us. That's a big sponge of limestone. Uh, we are inside what's called the Lewin Naturalist Ridge. So a ridge is a rise of land, and as the name suggests, it goes from Augusta, Cape Lewin, all the way up to Yelling up, uh, Cape Naturalist. Yelling in uh, Wudundi, Noongar language, uh, means holes. The limestone is young. That's what makes the ridge, is that type of rock, limestone. 
It's only about 1 to 1.2 million years old. It's a baby rock <laughs> sitting on top of red granite. And the red granite is much harder and much, much older. And this stuff's only 1 million. So this is really young. It's made from white sand. And the white sand is made from seashells in this part of the world. It varies. If you go up Queensland, it's made from coral. But it's a living organism that makes the white sand. So a mollusk is an animal, and it grows a shell around it, which is a bone. And then when the mollusk dies, the shell grinds up and turns into white sand. 1.2 million years ago, a series of ice ages. When there's an ice age, Antarctica gets bigger, more ice is formed. Oceans go down. The coast of Western Australia becomes bigger, exposing more white sand. The wind picks up the white sand, blows it in as huge, big sand dunes, and then time and weight and water and a fair bit of chemistry join the white sand together, and it turns into limestone. Rain falls from the sky. It becomes mildly acidic. It soaks through the limestone. Do you remember? 59 metres of limestone. So this water is sitting in the limestone for a long time, like a sponge. Someone just got a drip on them. Um, and it sits in there, and while it, it sits in the limestone, it is dissolving microscopic particles. So when the drip comes out, and the, 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 the sponge needs to be saturated. The water doesn't just go do 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 and pop out. The sponge needs to be saturated. So this is a really nice wet section, which is why we've got that big, tall forest growing all around us outside. Um, so full of water, and then the water, the drip kind of gets squeezed out the bottom into the cave space, and it's carrying the dissolved product. Imagine it's like sugar in hot water. It disappears, but it's still there. Mm. So when the drip comes out, it's carrying dissolved sugar. And it starts to evaporate on the roof, and the dissolved sugar hardens. A little microscopic particle gets left behind, and then the drip comes off. And then if that happens 50 million times, you start to grow one of these lovely things, like a straw. See the shapeless of the water is running down the middle of the straw. You can see the drips coming out the end of these little straws. That's a great example. Um, and so that the, the crystal is hardening around the outside of each drip. So they're creating a hollow straw. And then once you've created a straw, you've got a pole that water can run down the outside of. So then it starts to get fatter. And you, this is a great spot to show that. You can see some of these straws are slowly building up calcite crystal around the outside of them. But that drip is still coming down through the middle of it down through a hollow straw. Mm. And they slowly build up, and they slowly build up, and then you get lovely classic stalactite. that a hard thing to get my head around. <laughs> a ton is a bit of a something I never pick up. Um, a Toyota Corolla weighs one ton. So this is five and a half Toyota Corollas hanging off the ceiling just there. <laughs> no jumping on it, please. Um, and the reason we make a big deal out of it is it is a big deal. This is by far the biggest crystal suspended table in anywhere in the world.
perjuangan untuk naik ke atas. Yeah, yeah. Oke okay, guys, setelah tadi di bawah, nafas dulu ya. Kita harus all the way naik ke atas. Dari ini nggak mudah. 62 meter ke bawah. Oke. Okay. Perjuangan masih si jauh, gengs. Wow. Setelah ini kita akan ke Jewel Cave. The biggest cave in Western Australia. Bayang kalau naik gunung gimana ya? <laughs> Sudah aja dong ngosong-ngosong. Lihat, gengs. Kita masih harus naik sampai ke sana. Perjuangan. Cemungut. Hahaha. <laughs> selesai di Lake Cave sekarang saatnya kita menuju ke goa berikutnya yaitu Jewel Cave um, gak tahu sekitar berapa menit dari sini ikutin terus saja dan um, apakah goanya lebih bagus dari yang ini atau enggak kita lihat di sana yang jelas lebih besar dan terbesar di Western Australia ikutin terus sampai ketemu di sana <tuh>